Hey gang, Diana here today with a quick tip. And uh, these are gelatos and skins made with the honey medium. And let me show you quickly what, what I did here. They're very, they're very nice. You can make them more opaque, but I like the translucency of a thinner one with less color. So let me show you. I have this left over from uh, I was doing some watercolors and I was using this plate. Some of this I'm just going to remove, but some of this I'm going to take a clean finger, remember, so you don't muddy things up too much, and um, just going to blend any colors together, maybe remove any material that's hanging around and just wiping it off on a, on a um, towel. And then I'm going to take my honey medium. And this is a glue, basically. It's a decoupage gel glue. And it dries. It's an acrylic gel medium with a glossy finish. So I'm just going to scoop some of this out. And I can use this brush. I think I prefer using... A palette knife so I'm just going to scoop a bunch of this out here first and just kind of frost cake okay so just um, scraping a thin ish layer down and this is a great way to use up if you have you if you are using your silicone tray for watercolor this is a great way to use up anything that's left over you don't have to be super careful getting this perfect just try to smooth it through and let me show you something that I used uh, a skin on I'm just going to dunk that into a water dish and I'll be right back now this was from another piece of another skin, and I just used it in an art journal page and um, cut it apart because it cuts very nicely, very easily. And I actually threw in some little specks that come with the gel honey medium kit. I trimmed the skin down and then used it to weave. I had written on some pieces of paper, on just a piece of paper and just tore that paper up and then wove the skin in. And you can see how cool that is because the, the thinner skins with a little less gelato in them are going to be translucent. And you can see what's going to be, see this area right here will be opaque. Some of these areas will be opaque, but some of them will be translucent. To store your skins, I have these on a piece of palette paper. Uh, you could also use something like wax paper or uh, that uh, freezer wrap is perfect. So they will stick to each other, but um, if you push them together, you can see they can become fused if they're left too long. So I would see that I would make sure that you're storing these in. I think freezer wrap's a good choice. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And pop over to my blog for more information. And links are below if you are interested in any of these products. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for spending part of your day with me.